good recovery, I yeah. say. All right, it's time now to check in with Chef Brian. You betcha you with some freshly roasted peppers and tomato soup on the menu. For fresh living at 1 o'clock. Welcome, everybody, to the kitchen. It's the perfect day for a roasted pepper and tomato soup, and it's so easy to put together from scratch. Starting off with some tomatoes, what you're going to do is slice them in half, set them aside, as well as your peppers. You're going to just remove the membranes and the seeds, and then this is going to go face down into your pan, which I'll show you in a second. We'll prep the garlic by just chopping up the top to reveal the cloves themselves. This can be wrapped in some foil if you want to, or you can do what I've done here as well. I just covered this pan here and put the garlic into there. Now these just come out of the oven. They've had time to cool so I can handle them. I'm gonna take the garlic and you're just going to give it a little squeeze and remove those cloves of garlic that have roasted in there. Now, if you remember on Friday, I said, do you see a recurring theme on saute, caramelized onions, caramelized garlic, things like that? Well, here it goes again. We're caramelizing the garlic, the onions, the tomatoes, everything because we're really building those flavors up to make the soup. Take your spatula. You can do this one of a couple of ways. I'm gonna actually blend everything in a blender beforehand, but you can add this in with your vegetable stock to a pan and then use an immersion blender to puree them all together. Or you can do it this way. I'll add in the roasted veggies, the peppers and the tomatoes into here like this. And then what I'll do is add the chicken or the vegetable stock in there and then puree it together into a pan it will go so that we can finish it off. Now I'm gonna have to show you one of my old, I'm still an old kitchen chef back in the professional kitchens. I'll show you how we actually finish off this type of a soup to make it that much more delicious for all of you who are mm. going to eat it. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is going to be great. Thanks a lot, Chef. Well, let's finish up this idea for dinner tonight. And let me start by showing you how to get the most out of your roasted vegetables. I put them in a baking tray like this, in a sheet pan or a, a cake pan, because I like to control and hold all of the juices that come out of there. Drizzle them with some oil, olive oil, making sure they're well coated. Sprinkle them with your favorite seasoning. Cover them with some foil and into the oven for about 30 minutes, 400 degrees. Bring them out and then you'll see how they are roasted. Then you can decide if you wanna blend them or put them in an immersion blender into your big pot. As far as the grilled cheese, I'm using what I call crusty bread with this one because the bread is not meant to necessarily just eat like this, but you could, but it's meant to dip so that it becomes soggy and doesn't tear your mouth apart. So that's why I like to use a good crusty sourdough bread and my favorite cheese to make this, the grilled cheese sandwich. As far as the soup, you can see how beautiful it is, and just like a professional chef, what you're gonna do, put a little bit of heavy cream in there because you know fat is delicious, and that's how we in the chef, in the kitchens, make that food delicious by adding that, just that little splash of fat in there so that you go, hmm, how come that is so delicious? So there you have it, the best ways of putting together a delicious roasted uh, pepper and tomato soup with um, garlic and onions, your favorite seasoning, finish it off with a little cream, your grilled cheese sandwich, and you are set to go for dinner today on a very, very uh, rainy day. Now once that is done, cut it in half, serve it next to it so that you can dip that in the sandwich and enjoy a delicious idea for dinner. The recipe is on KUTV.com. You can also go to my website, cookingwithchefbrian.com, and grab it and enjoy this I'm, ultimate comfort food, yeah. I think. Rainy day comfort <laughs> food, yeah. perfect. And with just a flash of fat. <laughs> just a flash. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey,